they were here. Talk about promoting the media as a business. Particularly interesting for me because even though by now I am a media practitioner and would not even dream of, of, of that kind of recognition, I had the opportunity to work quite strongly with the media at the time when I was campaigning to get into government. And uh, I must also say that was an eye-opening experience for me. It allowed me to understand the nuts and bolts of this and how it actually works in practice. And from my point of view, at that time, I could interact with the media to make sure that my party's message and got across effectively. One of the things that struck me at the time was that there was a of media in Ghana, but you could count the ones that immediately came to your mind if you were asked the question of how many radio stations would you consider to be credible, or how many papers would you consider to be credible, or if you talked about internet sites, how many of those internet sites do you think that the majority of Ghanaians would go to the news, and how are all of these things funded? Because another thing that came across very strong was just how dependent this these very organizations and especially those journalists who are working for those organizations were on um, let's put it this way some that you could give them as opposed to people who you saw were part of an organization like any other institution and therefore did their work on the basis of and please don't get me wrong because I don't want to say that the media and then therefore goes where they are paid to. I'm just making an observation as regard of the media organizations. But well, to a large extent, on what it is that you were giving them and how you were ready to support them, and that information, they would put out their stories. And come, I'm, I'm mentioning this because I'm of the view that you have media organized as professional businesses and you don't get people who are ready to run these as professional business, such that it doesn't seem to be something that is overtaken by a particular it's something that really is going out and telling the story from the point of the journalist, which may not necessarily appeal to somebody listening to it, but at the end of the day, is factually accurate, is based on the facts, and is telling our story. Now, when it comes to investment, I can see the venture capital funders here. And they will tell you that when they are making a decision to invest in your business, it's about good facts and your ability to generate revenues. And nothing fancy footwork. Because at the end of the day, they return on their investment. How are you going to be thinking that process of getting those continuous revenue streams? How are you to have the investment from someone like the venture capital fund? Again, interaction with another paper, this time a business paper. Came to my office, they wanted to do an event and they wanted the Ministry of Industry to associate with the event so that they could use it for And so we were talking about the business, her media, and um, about the fact that there were things that she would like to do but she doesn't have the resources for it. And when she goes bank, her bank is not ready to give her the money to be able to investment. And I said, well, what kind of revenues has the bank seen coming from your paper as your uh, sales, your turnover? Then she said, well, she not about that, but she thinks that it's a good prospect, and so therefore the bank should be ready to. You can't have one without the other. If your banker is your bank, purposes of putting the money you consider as spare cash into the bank and you are not able to make sure that like any business you keep the kind of records that help them to have an of your revenue streams and what your returns are like go and tell them you have a good idea and maybe you can offer them free advertising from time to time that doesn't mean they'll give you the money so lady I cannot pretend to know more about your field than you do Outside looking in, these are the things that strike me. These are the I think that perhaps a lot of the media don't really focus on enough. 
you don't see that kind of specialization that allows you to see somebody as an expert in a particular sector. So if you really want to know what's going on in this industry, that's the paper that you refer to. About petroleum and the fact that we are now an oil producing state and all of that. How many stories have you seen in the papers over the last, call it six months, that have really made you understand what is happening in that sector? As a story is about, there's a new discovery at Teak, and there's a new discovery, or and then that's about that. How have you been educated about that industry just from reading the media, whether it's online, whether it's in the newspaper, whether it's any kind of documentary as to what goes on? Because I don't know about you, but as far as I'm concerned, I haven't seen really that that publication coming out. When you talk about our business. What exactly does the business press focus on? I'm not saying that we don't have good journalists who are not able to handle those stories. I think that, again, it's an area where we could do more specialization. The papers I have seen that have come out as business papers. Again, it's about producing information that's been passed on to them. You can see that there's very little analysis of their own, of the content, of the facts, and coming out with the issues. I think we need to be able to lift this industry to a much more professional level. I think that it is a prerequisite to getting the kind of equipment that I'm sure all of you would like to see coming into the media sector. I certainly hope that in the course of this discussion this morning, you find addressing it and then helping the other sectors of our media, both in Ghana and on the continent, to realize that the time to be professional is now. And it is the only way that our stories credibility and our voices as opposed to people telling us for us will be taken as an accurate account of the fact because as it is now we've positioned ourselves others are telling our stories for us and you can never have an accurate point when somebody with however good their intentions might be doing that on your behalf thank you very much